Hey guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe. This is my review for Empire Season 4, Episode 6. Fortune, what is it? Be not crossed. Oh, crossed. Now, the episode starts off with Jamal, him with Warren, doing over, laying over some vocals for some tracks. They're giggling, things are great, but Jamal, you know, he, they, his family needs him. Hakeem's trial is today as far as the custody hearing to see if he gets to keep baby Bella or if Anika gets to keep bust, bustedy baby Bella. Andre has a therapist. Thank you, Jesus. So Andre's saying that something is off here. My therapist, uh, you know, I'm in cahoots with this girl named Kim. And the thing is, she's kind of gunning for me. She's a liability and I just don't know if I can trust her or not you know I'm just feeling really weird so the therapist says that he wants Andre to go on some stronger meds I'm thinking okay we've been kind of saying that but all right cool Lucius is back everyone knows it so they're getting ready to go to the courthouse they're now at the courthouse they're going in everyone's like free Bella free Bella free Bella because remember Hakeem is famous so his fans are there to support him that's the thing it's like, regardless of what he does, his fans are there to support him. Then we see Angelo. I've been calling him Mr. Dubois ever since the season started back up, but he's back to Angelo. So Angelo's there, and he's kind of like, let the best man win. And Cookie's like, uh huh, we'll see about that. The judge needs to do a hearing, so they get through the opening arguments, and the opening arguments are essentially as followed. They're trying to show how Anika, she comes from a great background. She comes from a great family. She comes from hardship, even though she's entitled. And she deserves this child because she's the grand dame of it all. And essentially for... Because uh, the thing is, Hakeem's family life, it just looks a mess. And Angelo knows it. So he's going to go and try to throw certain things at them to make the jury feel that he he's just not a stable person you know gets into fights arguments his mother uh incarceration was incarcerated the father he has all these villains i mean he's seen as a villain in his industry and in the streets and uh the one brother's cook for coca puffs and another brother's pill and, and it just goes on so then we get to anika anika's on the stand and anika's playing this whole thing of you know, it's just so hard because it was just so scary. I just want my baby back. Um, Hakeem saying how he loves his daughter. He's there for his daughter. Listen to this. We're not married. So then they get down to the dirty. Thirsty does what he does best. Well, actually, no, it wasn't Thirsty. Thirsty gave the lawyer the information. But the lawyer said, all right, so let's get this straight, Anika. You went and you had sex with your husband, soon to be husband, like that makes it any better, soon to be husband's son, to get revenge on him because you were upset, and then you got pregnant. And then weren't you also, you were incarcerated, weren't you? Hmm, and what was that for? Attempted murder. Attempted murder? I was exonerated. But how did that whole thing happen? Attempted murder is a mess. You know, Cookie's like, yep, that's right. She a hoe. Yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> a day mess now apparently there's some deal that needs to be had uh andre will go and take th care of that uh, but we get everyone else's testimonials about how even though hakeem he was a spoiled brat i've seen how much he's grown i was like that's the consensus he was a spoiled brat but he's grown and then nika had someone i don't know if that was her sister or whatnot but Or was that one of the Dubois family now that I'm looking at her? I'm not sure. But anyway, Aluma was saying how Anika, she's a pillar in the community. She's a good woman. She's a good mother. And then we get to Tiana. And that was a mess because Tiana, she was doing well. She was saying how, you know, she's seen him grow, grow up so quickly and how all he really, his first love is his daughter. He's changed his entire life to accommodate her. So here comes Angelo. Angelo gets up there and then he goes after our girl. He has the audacity to go and say, oh, isn't this interesting? So what were you doing? I'm like, what do you mean? 
What were you doing with Hakeem? Was it with the threesomes? Was it with the cocaine? Was it crack? I mean, was it heroin? Was it uh, Zanny bars? What What was it? What was it? She's like, no, there was no drug. I wasn't doing any drugs when I was in there with him. I said, yeah, you better clarify that. Oh, I was, no, uh, no, three, no. Oh, so while baby Bella was asleep, asleep, I don't know. Why? I'm saying, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. So then she folds and she's just like, <laughs> and she covers her face. And so then Josh says, ah, blah, blah, blah. excuse me, what are you doing here? Why don't you simmer down a little bit? Your fangs are showing, baby. Your fangs are showing. You're thirsty for blood, but dial it back a little bit. So after that ordeal was done, Hakeem was pissed at Tiana. They see, this is where the maturity came in, came back in. So he was pissed at Tiana because he felt like Tiana didn't do what she was supposed to do. Tiana, uh, she didn't fight back. She didn't use her voice more. And now we're at this impasse of he feels like, oh, because you didn't do what you need to do, because you didn't fight back, you're going to use your I'm going to lose my baby. And Tiana, she said, Beth, she said, I know you're upset right now, but when you have a calmer head and you come looking for me, because I know you will, don't. Don't. I said, that's right. This is going to be a long season. But I said, that's right. Because that wasn't right. You didn't deserve that. You, she did exactly what she was supposed to do. When you're up there, you don't go and get combative and start challenging the uh, person asking you all the questions and all that it doesn't look good even if you're in the right it doesn't look good so she guards sympathy which is all that matters which is what you need so leave her alone dang oh so immature becky she gets called into a meeting with shine and shine's going to be it's going to represent her boo yes her rapper boo her christian her gospel rapper boo so he's back Andre is there to make sure everything's cool. Andre said, like, you're going to work with old dude again so that uh, he can get his album done. And that's not a problem for you, right? It's no issues. And she said, no, of course not. Old dude's looking at her like, he guess he'll be like old times. She was like, no, let's just get to the money. So while he's in the studio, he's doing the song. The song is cool. Shine actually liked it. Becky comes in and says she wants to hear it again. Okay. When she hears it again, she's trying to tell them that, okay, I need the room. Because Shine, he wasn't getting it. It was like, get, go, go. What you're trying to do and what you're trying to talk about, I thought you came back to Empire so that you can go and do something more. Do something greater than what you're doing. Because right now, this just sounds like more of the same. And so I need for you to come up with a new sound. And he was just like, look, I went... And left Empire, made millions, sold millions, came back here to come and see you and to come to work with you. And you're back here. What what really happened for you? How much did you pop off? And I said, that's when it should have been deaded. That should have been the end of that conversation. Because if he's trying to downplay what you're doing, no. Things haven't changed. Haven't changed a lick. But somehow they get to rubbing and kissing and holding and feeling. And somehow... Cookie's now on the stand. I, said, I looked at this like, okay. Now, the judge, the nice judge, the judge that's on the payroll. So what's going on with you? Well, I, um, I run a multi-million dollar corporation. I run it with my family. And you know what? I am the grandmother to baby Bella. I love that child. Hakeem is a great man. Trying to make my dreams come true. She's just trying, um, she's just trying to focus on her company and her corporation, make things happen for herself, for her family. She loves the fact that her son, even though she was incarcerated for 17 years, so she didn't get to love on her son the way that she would have wanted to, he's doing that for his daughter. And she is just so proud of him. She is so proud of him. And then here comes Angelo. We were having a nice moment. She was crying. We were all feeling something, or tr at least trying to attempt to feel something. Here comes Dusty Dirty Angelo up trying to muck it all up. Then he focuses on the negative. Then he says, aren't you violent? You went and you have... Everyone knows Cookie's violent. Aren't you fighting in prison? I Oh, you didn't go to prison, even though you should have for what you did. Um, if you did, you would have known that you would have had to fight or at least put yourself in a position of power. And so then 
he was like, all right, but even outside of prison, didn't you threaten Anika? Didn't you threaten to kill her? Didn't you threaten to, um, you know, slap her? You actually hit her. And Cookie said it was a fight. We exchanged words. We exchanged fists. Trust and believe. But Angelo didn't know who he was messing with. He said, hello, over there. Questions like, isn't it true that you pistol whip? Ooh, I forgot about that pistol whip. I forgot about the dang. Oh, the good old days. Even though that sounded like a lie. I said, wait a minute. Are we really just throwing stuff in there to throw stuff in there? Oh, wait. Yeah, that is right. <laughs> we did pistol whip you, didn't we? Whoops. You see? Cookie was riding the money back then. She should have gone with her gun and hit you a little bit harder because maybe if you weren't here today, let me stop. That's not nice. That's not nice. But Cookie flips in and says, Anika, wasn't that the one you were trying to kill yourself? Wasn't that the one to go and talk you off the ledge? I said, oh, oh, oh. Now we're getting down to something. And that was while you were pregnant. So you endangered your baby while you were pregnant and you're trying to come for me? I just find it interesting. I find it very interesting. So then we had to recess because it was like, okay, that was a draw. That was a draw. Lucius said, look, I got something. Cookie said, no, no, no. Maybe we don't need, you know, your old personality to come back. Well, we don't necessarily need that. I said, right now, we need something to shift this because it's not looking good for you. You may, you might not have lost it last round, but you didn't win it. So Hakeem says, I trust you, dad. Let's go. Lucius is on the stand, and Angelo's thinking that he can go after it. It's like, Lucius played the, oh, my memory. Oh, you heard in the news that I lost my memory, so it's still gone. And Angelo said, oh, I don't believe him. I'm thinking, wasn't it your family that dispersed that information, that put it out there to begin with? But I'll continue. Now, uh, Lucius, he did a great job, because he spun it so well. Angelo's trying to say, you're violent and you're a danger to the baby you're a danger to a lot of people out in these streets people you to fear you and so lucius said you know i've been hearing these things about me being a bad person me doing bad things and that people not liking me and all of that all i know is that i survived a horrific incident i survived a car bombing and i just know that the person i am today i am baby bella's grandfather i am Hakeem Lyon, Jamal Lyon, and Andre Lyon's um, father. I care deeply about all of them. I strive to be a better person every day. I like to see the best in others and, you know, try to recognize good within myself. And so that's how I just like to lead my life. And that's what I see in my son. I see goodness. I just see positive. I don't see this person that people are trying to say that he is or that I am. What about second chances? What about starting over? I said, what? Did he just, did the, Angelo was shook. So then we had to recess. We had to recess because um, everyone uh, was just like, okay, that was great, but we still need something else. Hakeem didn't like how it was going, and so then, hold on. Do you have any more? Um, yeah, Hakeem, he was getting a little antsy, so he wanted to represent himself. Now, everyone was saying, this boy is stupid, what is he trying to do? And Lucia said, let him do it, let him do it. Cookie said, I, this is how I know you don't have your memory back. That child, he doesn't have plans. He just goes and wings it. So then he went up there. The judge approved for him to go and represent himself. It was him versus Anika because he called Anika to the stand. So then Hakeem did the oldest trick in the book. Since this is a case about parenting, being a good parent, being an attentive parent, I'm going to get her. So what is Baby Bella's favorite color? <laughs> Baby favorite color she's just she does have one um what is baby bella's favorite um toy or stuffed animal oh yes it's the pig and she goes to sleep with the dinosaur <laughs> now what does baby bella you know what foods make her stomach hurt you know what shampoo does she like what clothes feel best against her skin what time does she normally fall asleep? Does she sleep heavily or not? And 
Hakeem's whole point was, um, okay, some of that you wouldn't know because you were in jail. But you're out of jail now. And I've been taking care of her. You, what is her grandpa's uh, name? What name that she has for him? And she loves our family. She's been taken care of by our family. She has been supported, absolutely loved. And I'm not trying to take her away from you. I just want equal rights. I don't understand how you're still, you know, getting to know your daughter again. We know her and she is healthy and happy. Why would you go and change something like that? Anika could say anything. Everyone was like, oh my God, is Hakeem at... No, is he... Re no, it's... Well, dang. Okay. So then Thirsty said, yeah, I think we kind of won this one. So now it's another recess. Everyone's loving on Hakeem. Like, I can't believe you did, stupid. I mean, I can't call you stupid today. Okay, you did that. Mind you. Diana Dubois comes out of nowhere right on time because they already said that she was out far, far and away. But no, as they were losing, as Anika's team was losing, she comes back in. And Thirsty realizes, if there's anything you need to tell me right now, you need to let me know. And when they get back in there, Thirsty asks again, if there's anything you need to tell me, let me know now. I need to know now. So then they bring Diana on the stage and Diana says, well, there's actually some video evidence um, that will show you better than tell you. And so then we see the video evidence of her hanging out with Hakeem because Hakeem was saying that he never actually talked to her. He doesn't really know her like that. But the video said otherwise. The video showed that Hakeem knows her. He's been saying a lot of stuff and he's been discredi discrediting his whole family. I'm sure she fed him all of those lines. We know how this is. So in the videos, it was saying how, well, the last one apparently talked about how he wishes that his mother just stayed in prison. He, and you know that pissed off Cookie. Cookie looked like she wanted to strangle him when she heard that. She was over it. She was over it. Um, her fa his father is a monster. He doesn't understand why he's still alive because people should be coming after him because he's a monster. He's done terrible things. Andre is crazy. You know, it's not his fault. He has a condition, but he has all these anger issues and he's cooked for Cocoa Puffs. I said, oh my God. Jamal, you know, he's an addict. He's just popping pills left and right. I'm thinking, just go and take a huge on them. You might as well have. So now everyone, another recess. They're like, what the is wrong with you? So you tell him, he was like, I couldn't tell you. Why could you tell me? Well, don't, don't even say, I don't care about that right now. You couldn't tell us that you. <sighs> so you tell, you couldn't. We're your family. You went and talked ish about us in front of total strangers, and now they used it against you and against us. So the judge ruled in favor of Anika, not even, they would have won if it wasn't for the fact that the judge felt that with him even saying that the family's nuts and that they're dangerous and they're a danger, they're not providing a safe environment for the baby to grow and flourish. I could not him in the face, in the face, because it was a choice. He chose not to say anything. It was a choice. So the, now we see Cookie. She's washing her hands. She's in the bathroom. Here comes Diana. And Cookie was saying, you know what? Because you're so butthurt about your own son that you're coming after mine. I see what you're doing. You're trash and you know it. Diana said, well, you know, however the cookie crumbles. And then Cookie said something to the effect of, you know what? There isn't enough soap to clean your dirty ass. <laughs> I said, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Cookie. Now, Becky tells her dude, look, because he was like, oh, you know, I'm really happy that we got to work together and we got to go and talk things through and work things out. She said, look, I feel the same way. You do? Yeah, I feel like it's great that we did get to talk things out and have closure because that's all that was closure sex i wanted to make sure that you understood that there was nothing further for us i'm doing my own thing you do your own thing let's go do our own things separately and have a grand time because i don't have anything for you 
you can offer possibly offer anything for me at, anymore. I mean, so let's just finish up the song. I'll listen to it later. Thank you for your services. Now, Diana has to go and thank her family for a job well done. It's like, Angelo, you really did a good job. Anika, welcome to the family, baby. Uh, it's finally some class over here. Uh, Warren, you're still working it out with uh, Jamal. You're not done yet. And Angelo said, oh, I think Warren is a liability. Warren said, these nuts is liability. And then we see Andre's therapist is a part of this whole scheme. He's a part of this whole scheme. And to make matters even worse, oh. to make matters even worse, he upped Andre's dosage to make him crazy. I just feel like fighting. I just feel like fighting. So now Anika went from there to go meet up with Hakeem. And, you know, she told the people, the guards, like, no, it's fine. I can go and get the baby myself. So Hakeem said, look, her favorite color is yellow. She loves the pig. She likes to go. Um, uh, she likes to sleep with the dinosaur. She likes to eat with a tennis ball in her hand. I have no idea why. I forgot what food or fruit he said makes her stomach hurt. And um, yeah, that was that was it. I know Nika had that very guilty look. Um, Hakeem was crying. Cookie and Lucius were talking and Cookie's just pissed. She's like, that boy really went and screwed himself over by screwing us over. I understand we weren't good, but maybe we can be better, but... What was the last one? Oh, yeah. Lucius is back. I saw that Lucius is back. He might be a little off, but he is back because he had that look of, we're going to kill Anika. We're going to do something. That whole family's going down. It, whole family's going down. So that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Mm, 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 mm. Come back in two weeks. Or watch Star.